Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of SeasideGolf.com presents Myrtle Beach. I'm your host Brian Thomas and today we're in Calabash, North Carolina at Oyster Bay Golf Course. In just a few minutes, Tim Jackson, PGA Golf Professional at Oyster Bay is going to be joining the show, so stay with us. SeasideGolf.com presents Myrtle Beach. Brought to you by your local Toyota dealer. Now's the time to go places with Toyota. The Challenge Millions. You can't win it unless you're in it. USHandicap.com, the number one place for public golfers to establish a USGA compliant handicap. GEICO, 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. And the Green Turtle Sports Bar and Grill, with over 25 locations. Meet you at the Turtle. Well, joining me now is Tim Jackson, head golf professional here at Oyster Bay Golf Links. Tim, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thanks for coming out today. Now, uh, the Legends is a part of the group that you're involved with, with Oyster Bay, Heritage, and the Legends groups. Correct. Tell us a little bit, our viewers here, uh, about the Legends group. Okay, the Legends group, we're part of Century Golf, which is based out of Dallas, Texas, uh, part of the Arnold Palmer Golf Management Group. Um, we have Oyster Bay here, we have the three courses at the Legends down in Myrtle Beach, and we have the Heritage Club down in Pauley's Island. Um, Heritage, or Oyster Bay was the first golf course, uh, 1983. Uh, the three Legends courses followed right after that, 90, 1990, 1991, and 1992. And we had Heritage in there too, and they were 1986. Very good. Well, Seaside Golf Vacations can book this package for the Legends. All five golf courses, wonderful golf courses, come down and play here in the Myrtle Beach area. Now, Oyster Bay is located in Calabash, of course, but um, they're still part of the Legends group. So make sure you go to SeasideGolf.com uh, to put that package for the Legends groups. Um, Tim, we're, we're standing right here on, on one of the holes that we're going to be playing, but before we do that, let's talk about uh, number two on the front side here at Oyster Bay. How would you play that hole? Uh, it's a great par four for your second hole. Um, you tee off over water, so obviously a tee shot's very important um, to get it over the water for one. Uh, a great, uh, you want to try to stay down the middle of the fairway with it. Um, there's bunkers guarding the green. The green's almost a two-tiered green, so you have to position yourself well for your second shot. Uh, you're going to have a long iron end to, to the green, so uh, the green becomes the tough part about that hole. Uh, so it's just it's a, a great fairly platform. large green, too. It, it is. It's two levels, uh, one uh, the lower level and then up on the top, and there's a great big bunker. Uh, to the left of the green that usually swallows up a lot of golf balls. Tim, a great par three that comes to mind is number eight. Yeah, great little short par three, um, not overpowering, so it's about 150 yards, uh, straight uphill uh, to a very narrow green, uh, so position on the green is key, uh, but you do have a short iron in your hand for the most part. So with the Calabash River in the background as a setting, uh, it's a great little par three. Well, number five, one of the, one of the great par fives um, on the Grand Strand is the hole we're going to be playing next. So explain to uh, our viewers how the professional that you are would play that hole. Okay, um, great par five. Uh, three tee stations to start off with and also a scenic view along the Calabash River here. Uh, just a great par five. There's two bunkers in the middle of the fairway that we'll try to get over uh, that'll leave us a little bit of an easier shot to the green. The average golfer is going to play it to the left of the bunkers. Uh, it's, it's going to be a traditional three shot par five for them. Uh, to where they set up uh, for a short wedge to the green. Well, Tim, you're the head golf professional here at Oyster Bay. You got the honors on the tee box. Okay, let's see how we do. Let's do it. Beautiful day out here with the Calabash River going around this hole. Put a good turn on it, pro. Oh, beautiful. Carry the bunkers fine. Be right. I think that'll Very work. Very nice. Thank you. I'll try to keep up with you. Now this is a good line is right between them two bunkers out there, Good right? line is right between the bunkers. Yes, sir. Well, we got to carry it about two, 230 to get there. Yes, sir. All right, let's see if I can't put a, good a, one. put a good swing on it like you did. Oh, very Draw. nice. Very nice. Going to be there. perfect. Oh, yeah. All yep, right, perfect. let's go see if we can make a birdie. Let's do it. Well, Brian, I kind of hit it in the right rough here, but a little bit behind you, but I've got about 225 yards left to the green. I'm going to see what we can do with the second shot. Show me a good target line. Target line kind of just in between the two pine trees up here, um, the ones on the right and the ones on the left here, right over the top of that uh, bunker that you can see. Yeah, I got about the same line, so. Uh, yep, 
but I'm gonna try to hit the same line. Put a good turn on it. Keep drawing. It might be there. It's a good Should shot. Should be right in the front. Yeah, good swing. Thank you. Well, Tim, into that wind, I caught the edge of the fairway here. About the same line you had. Yep, about, about 220 yards. Your target's just over the top lip of that bunker there. And put a good swing on it. What a beautiful day. Let's see if we can't get us a birdie on this long par five. Turn over a little bit. There it comes. Get that up there. Perfect. Well, let's go see if it's on. All right, Brian, we uh, up to the green now. You hit a great shot in there for an eagle putt. Um, I've got a little chip about 10 yards up the hill here, and I'm gonna try to get it inside just so we can, uh, so I can see if I can tell you. Well, this is your part of the game. Put a good turn on it right. and have a, at least a tap in for birdie. We'll do it. I should go back to the left. Oh, nice shot. Yep, that'll work. I'll take it. Absolutely. Well, Tim, I did get lucky, like you said, and cut, caught the front edge of the green here. Looks like about 30, 35 feet. Yep. But it's, it's an Big eagle Big break putt, to the, so, from the right to the left. Yeah, keep a hand on that flag for me. I got it. See if I, I can't roll on. one up there close. Come it's on. It's got to go. It's got to go. Oh, what a great line. All right. Well, you got a good opportunity for birdie, and I'm just a little bit inside you. So, yep. What kind of greens we have here? These are Tiff Eagle Bermudas. Tiff Eagle. Tiff Eagle Bermuda. Well, they certainly are in great shape. All right. Let's see if we can put a good stroke on one. Show our viewers how to make a birdie putt. Let him in. Great birdie. Way Thank to you. Go. Thank you. Now you put the pressure on me. Put pressure on you. I'm not used to having the pressure put back on me here. But I've been making some putts. You can do it. Recently, but now I'll probably jinx myself. Let's see if we can get this to go in. I told you. Oh. Nice three putt Didn't par. Turn. A good par. Well, stay with us. We're heading to number nine. Well, staying with us here is Tim Jackson, head golf professional at Oyster Bay. Tim, we're going to talk a little bit now about the backside uh, here, here at Oyster Bay. And a great hole that comes to mind is the par four, number 13. Number 13 is a great hole. It's our signature hole. Um, great little short par four. Risk reward chance. Uh, big hitters will try to drive the green. Uh, Smart hitters will lay up and have a wedge to the green. Uh, there's a huge bunker on the right-hand side that guards the green. Uh, the sea wall's there, it's on a lake, so a very pretty hole. Uh, great scenic views, uh, just a tr truly great par four. And we, uh, we're gonna go play a hole here in another par five today, but one of the other par fives that's a fantastic hole here is number 14. 14 is a great par five. Uh, the challenge on the drive is there's a tree in the middle of the fairway, so you kind of have to select left or right of the tree. Uh, and then there's also a lake that comes into play on the second shot, so you have to lay up. Lots of, uh, lots of scenery there. That's kind of where you get out to where you can see the ocean a little bit uh, in Sunset Beach and into a little short um, shot for your third shot to a very tight green. One of your favorite par threes you've already mentioned is number 15. 15 is a great hole. Um, it's, it's a very short par three. Uh, most players are going to hit a wedge. Uh, it's about 120 yards, 130 yards. Uh, but the challenge is, is that it's cover, uh, surrounded by water. So you're going to have uh, the obstacle of the water around the green. Well, there is quite a bit of water around here, but most of it's not in place, so we don't want to scare our, our, our players. Away That's from right. Here, so. Um, another wonderful par three, number 17. 17 is our traditional island green. Uh, it's the one that everybody talks about when they come here. Um, usually going to see some gators on that hole. Um, so it's a great little site for a par three, um, reminiscent to the TPC green at Sawgrass. Uh, but it's just a great club selection hole. Uh, you have to be on your game on that hole. Well, Oyster Bay is a great setting for wildlife. There's a lot of wildlife here, so if you, uh, if you like to play golf and see different things like alligators you just mentioned, squirrels and rabbits, that kind of thing, what a, what a great place to be and play golf. It is. Well, the gators are very popular. Um, 
our return visitors comment on them all the time. Uh, you're going to see a lot of hawks, um, like the gators, like you said, uh, just a lot of natural wildlife. Tim, the hole we're going to play next is number nine, the par five. Explain to our viewers a little bit about that one. Yeah, great par five. Um, you have the Calabash River on the left and out of bounds on the right. So great tight hole, uh, very challenging. Uh, three different sets of tees to play from. So it gives every golfer of every ability uh, a chance to play a great hole. And if I remember that one correctly, it's reachable in two. So let's head to the tee box and give it a swing. It is. Let's do it. OK, Brian, here we are. We're on the ninth hole. Um, you have the Calabash River to the left, uh, out of bounds to the right. Great target line out straight towards the bunker there. Yeah, right towards the 150, a little left of the bunker. Looks like a good line to me. Yes, sir. All right, pro, put a good turn on it. Get you another birdie today. There you go, right down the middle. Right down the middle with a little cut. A little butter cut. It's running pretty good. All right, Let's see if I can't do it right down the middle with you. You know, the last par five we played, I think, was downwind. This one's uh, this one's into it a little bit. A little bit into our face. So, what it, you know what they're saying is, into the wind, swing, swing smooth, right? That's right. That's a good ball there. Right towards the 150. Yep. All right, that's a good start. All right, Brian, here we are. We out in the fairway. Uh, looks like you outdrove me by a good little bit here, but I've got about 215 left. Uh, side hill lie, so, and do a, uh, just got to keep it over the bunker here, and uh, the, with the hazard being on the left, I'm going to try to put a little fade on it and see if I can catch the green here. Well, we can see the top of the flag, but I know the green's a little bit of a blind shot from here, but at least we can see the flag for a good target. Yep, we can. Put a good swing on it. Oh, that's a beauty. Be right. That should be pretty good. I don't think you want to do it over again. That's a good shot. I do not. That one's pretty good. Well, Tim, it's par five. I got lucky. Got in the middle of the fairway. Looks like I'm about 200, close about, to 200, just a little bit short of 200. About 190. Uh, breeze helping you a little bit, and you're going to a little bit of an elevated green. So, Well, you chose a great line. I'm going to see if I can't hit the same one and hopefully get the distance right. right put a good swing on it. We're going to try, buddy. That looks good there. Be right. That looks like it's pretty that good. That should be in good shape. All right, Brian, I got a little strong on that one. I'm going to try to get this up there close to uh, hopefully put a tie on you. I hear you from 215 yards out or so being long on the green. What a great shot. Thank you. Oh, that's a nice shot there. Roll. Very nice. Yep, we'll take that one. All right, Tim, well, I got lucky okay. and I hit it pin high here. Yep, go ahead and knock it in. I got a little eagle putt again. Looks like you got a little right to left breaker there. Well, I like the par fives because sometimes you can get there in two and you get opportunities like this. So let's see if I can't make a better putt than I have been doing. Yep. A little right to left. Go. Get in there. Go. Oh. oh, good putt, though. Well, I'll tell you what. Good for. I'll take a birdie, and yours is good for birdie also. All we'll take right. a push. Thank you, sir. Very nice hole again. Way to go. Thank you. Well, stay with us. Tim Jackson, head golf professional here at Oyster Bay, is going to give the tip of the week. This golf tip brought to you by Rockefeller's Raw Bar in North Myrtle Beach. Okay, welcome back to Oyster Bay Golf Links. Um, the one tip that I like to give this week is, uh, I call it the clock drill. Uh, it's a great tip to practice before you go out to play that day. Number one, it'll give you an advantage um, on the speed of greens. Number two, it will give you an advantage um, to putt a putt from different directions, so you'll get the break, practice a break. Um, but it'll also give you some confidence when you are out on the golf course. And what it is, is you set a ball up at 12, 3, 6, and 9 on each side of the hole, and you go around and make each one of them from that spot before you tee off that day. So 
I'll demonstrate on how we do it. Um, just basically a quick putt. We'll start over here at the 12 o'clock. And it's just a quick stroke to go ahead and make all four of your putts. And it'll give you the speed of the greens and it'll also give you confidence to see the ball going in the hole. If you need any more advice on your golf game, please contact your local PGA professional. And we look forward to seeing you at Oyster Bay Golf Links. Hi, I'm Mark Rosenberg, president of Seaside Golf Vacations, title sponsor of SeasideGolf.com presents Myrtle Beach. I'd like to invite you to contact Seaside Golf next time you're planning a trip to the Myrtle Beach area. We're the largest independent package company in North Myrtle Beach, booking approximately 30,000 rounds of golf a year. We could put you on any golf course in the Myrtle Beach area, including four private country clubs, for a total of 99 golf courses. We could book golf and lodging, or golf only. We'll be happy to help you next time you're planning a trip to Myrtle Beach. The Myrtle Beach area boasts nearly 100 golf courses, making it one of the premier golf destinations in the world. Area courses offer golfers of all abilities a huge range of choices. Prices range from economy to high end, and design styles range from Parkland to Lynx and everything in between. Many of golf's finest architects have left their marks here. Robert Trent Jones Sr., Jack Nicholas. Arnold Palmer, Rees Jones, Pete Dye, and Tom Fazio are just a few of the names you'll find on area courses. Golf Digest recently included 10 Myrtle Beach area golf courses among its list of the 100 best public golf courses in the U.S., more than any other geographical area by far. Our Myrtle Beach golf package prices are all-inclusive, so there's no hidden costs. Each golf vacation includes lodging, green fees, cart fees, taxes, and surcharges. But if you already have a place to stay, we can put together a golf-only Myrtle Beach golf vacation for you too. One of the unique things about Seaside Golf Vacations is that every one of our golf directors plays golf. We're avid golfers, we enjoy the game, and we know the game, and we know the courses in Myrtle Beach. We go out and we play the golf courses, we talk to the pros, we talk to the general managers, and as a result, we're informed about the conditions here, and we'll keep you informed as well. No group is too small or too large. Seaside Golf Vacations provides the same level of service to groups of all sizes. Whether you're flying solo, having a group of 4, 6, 20, or 100, we have the knowledge and experience to put together a special golf package for you. Another benefit of booking your golf trip through Seaside Golf Vacations is we have a centralized booking system. We can book all your tee times centrally. You don't have to contact each course individually. We'll save you a lot of time. Additionally, you don't pay any extra by booking through us. We get wholesale rates. We can put you on any course in Myrtle Beach and we'll save you time and money. Choose from our long list of web specials and get fitted for a customized Myrtle Beach golf package. Either way, you'll save money and time. Also inquire about our other destinations in South Carolina and around the world. Seaside Golf Vacations at SeasideGolf.com or call 877-833-2255. Well, that's all the time we have for today's edition of SeasideGolf.com presents Myrtle Beach. Special thanks goes out to Tim Jackson, PGA Golf Professional at Oyster Bay Golf Links. Golfers, remember, when you want to book that great package for the Myrtle Beach area, SeasideGolf.com is the place to be. I'm your host, Brian Thomas. Until next time, hit them like you want to. SeasideGolf.com presents Myrtle Beach. Brought to you by your local Toyota dealer. Now's the time to go places with Toyota. The Challenge Millions, you can't win it unless you're in it. USHandicap.com, the number one place for public golfers to establish a USGA compliant handicap. GEICO, 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. And the Green Turtle Sports Bar and Grill, with over 25 locations, meet you at the Turtle.